this project, you're going to fill your animals with patterns, shapes, and lines, like circles or squares, triangles, zigzag lines, wavy lines. Here are some examples where I use two shapes or a shape with lines. For this project, you're gonna take your paper, put it horizontal, side to side, and fold it hamburger style. The fold should be on the right and the opening should be on the left. Make sure you go over your crease. Take your pattern, make sure it's on the front. Make sure the fold is lined up with your paper's fold and the bottom of your animal is at the bottom of your paper. Fold is on the right. Trace your pattern. Then look at the pattern while you fill in the face with the mouth, a little U shape for the chin, a triangle for the nose, and two straight lines from the top of the head. The eyes are football shapes with circles. And then I'm gonna draw two straight legs, straight lines for legs. Now for the tail. It curls up and then it curls back down. I like to make a mark at the bottom of my paper to show me where it's gonna come back down. So I curl up, curl back down. Now flip your paper over, it's time to trace the back. The fold is now on the left and the opening is on the right. Line up your pattern, fold on the left, opening on the right. Trace, set your pattern aside, and copy the pattern to fill in the bottom of the head and the two lines for the legs. The tail doesn't go on the back because it's curled up on the front. Now when using oil pastels, you have to choose whether you're gonna use warm colors, or cool colors. Whichever one you choose to draw with, you'll use the other one to paint with. I'm gonna use red, orange, and yellow, the warm colors. I select the darkest color, red, to outline all of the pencil on my cat. I use the remaining two colors, orange and yellow, to fill the cat body, tail, legs, and face with patterns made of shapes and lines. Be careful when using oil pastels not to lay your hand down because they will smudge if they're rubbed by your hand. I open it up so that on the front and back it matches. It might not be perfect and exactly the same, but it coordinates. After the oil pastels, it's time to paint. I'm gonna be using the cool colors. Since I used warm colors for the oil pastels, cool colors will now be used when I paint. I'm using blue, purple, and green. The three cool colors. You can do different types of those three colors, like dark blue, dark purple, light green, blue green, pretty much any combination of those three colors. And I mix them around and finish off with some dark blue eyes. After it's dry, you're going to fold it back in half. Hold the fold. It's time to cut out your cat. You wanna make sure it's folded in half and you're holding the fold when you're cutting it out. I use my scissors and I start at the top and I slowly cut around the body of the cat. I don't wanna to cut too much of the outlined oil pastel because I wanna keep that remaining red. Make sure you continue to hold the fold. Do not let go of the fold. I use the back of my scissors. I don't let the tops of my scissors really touch. And I'm making sure that I'm cutting through two pieces of paper. The next step is to glue half of the cat. You're going to open it up and on the right hand side you're going to go around and outline it with glue. Hold the glue bottle with your thumb on top and your fingers on the bottom. Put the orange nozzle on your paper as you gently press and outline the ear, the head, the other ear, and the side of the body. We're not going to put glue at the bottom. We have to keep that open so that we can shove newspaper inside and make it stand up on its own. So after you're done, close your glue, clean it up, and now you're gonna fold the cat again and press do not rub. Oil pastel smudges when you rub. Instead, use your fingers and your hand to press. Squeeze and pinch. If glue oozes out, that's okay. 
squeeze, press. So after you're done applying pressure and making sure that your cat is glued, you are going to use a, not an oil pastel, but a marker to write your name and teacher code on the back bottom of your animal. I chose blue because my paint was blue. And now we're all finished. Yeah!